Hello, 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 my beautiful followers. Today is Thursday, December the 19th, and I'm calling this day Triumph Thursday. And you want to know why? I will tell you in just a moment, but please do me a favor. Go down below, subscribe to my channel, click that bell so you can get my notifications, comment, like, and share my videos, please. It is much appreciated. Triumph Thursday. I'm going to tell you why I call it Triumph Thursday because I was on Facebook this morning and I had a notification regarding something that happened in my life years ago. And it brought me back to a thought and I was like, oh my goodness, I remember that day. And it was a day I had not long been diagnosed with MS and I had a rough day at work the day before and I really didn't want to go to work that morning. And I kept saying, why are these people always so happy on Friday? They're just getting paid. And I was, I was hurt because I had to take a step back because of the mortgage meltdown. And I was on, you know, self-employed. And I had to take a job because the business was just that bad. So I was like, okay, so I should be happy about that tryout number one. So, but I didn't see it that way. So I, t I went ahead and got on the road to go to work. And I'm on Highway 85, Interstate 85, headed to work, headed north. I'm in Gwinnett County. And out of nowhere, this song that I'm hearing in the background, Yolanda, Yolanda Adams, um, was on Open My Heart. And, and that's exactly what I did. I had a complete meltdown on the freeway. But... I don't remember, I lifted my foot off the gas pedal and I coasted until I came to a complete stop. Nobody hit me, nobody blew their horn at me. I was just in the middle of the freeway. And I was just crying and crying and crying and crying. And somehow or another, that song kept coming on repeat after repeat after repeat after repeat after repeat. And to this day, I don't remember ever getting back on the road driving, but I made it to work. Won't he do it? So and then, so I get to work and I said, Lord, I'm not going to let these people bother me today, but I need your help. Give me some guidance, please. I really need you to give me that word. Tell me what I need to do. I don't want to keep coming up here to this job. I know it's something better for me. Now, mind you, I was in school and working full time. The job was very, 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 very stressful. It was still in the mortgage business, but it was stressful because we were working with the the Obama loans, the um, make, making homes affordable. And it was very, very stressful. And I'm like, I can't keep from being stressed because I see how many people were hurt in this market. I said, so I'm going to have to figure something out. So about two weeks later, maybe three weeks, I had a flare up that took me out on a leave of absence that turned into a long term leave of absence. Triumph number two. So I. Uh, after while I was on a leave of absence, my job sends me a calls me and he says, "Hey, I wanted to call you before your lunch pail kid you let your lunch pail friends call you and tell you we're being laid off." And I was like, "Oh, okay, triumph number three." <laughs> I say, "I don't have to go back to that job. I'm on a leave of absence. They got to pay me until I come off a of leave of absence. Meanwhile, Lord, tell me what I got to do." Just help me, Lord. So I'm like, well, you're still in school. And I went ahead and I said, you know what? Let me finish school. So I added more classes on and I got my bachelor's degree. And that's thanks to my school. They were like, you're going into the nursing program. But because of my cognitive skills with the lesions on my brain, I just could not finish it. I couldn't pass the test. So they were like, okay, we're going to go ahead. You, we know you know these things. So we're going to go ahead and pass you. Um... And then what we're gonna need you to do is when you when you feel up to it, just come back. It's gonna be this is this is gonna be good for you for ten years. You could come back, take your clinicals, and you'll get your nursing degree. And I was like, wow, tryout number four. So I go ahead, get my my um, bachelor's degree, and I'm like finished, and I'm like, but Lord, this is not gonna help me because I really don't have any direction. Where do I need to go from here? I need a job. I can't work. I'm sick all the time. I'm fatigued. I'm 
going to going to the psychiatrist every other every other week and just it was just horrible. I was like, I need some direction, Lord, please help me. So with that being said, he says, why don't you go ahead and try and get your master's degree? I just had that feeling, get the master's degree cuz I got a phone call from one of my classmates. He said, "You know, we got a we got a nice program. You can come and join. They join. They got grants and everything. Join. Guess what?" Your girl, even though it was against all odds, I went ahead because shame on my friends for telling me that I would not make it with MS. I went ahead and got my master's degree. Triumph number five. So I finished that and then I was like, well, what am I going to do, Lord? What am I going to do? And then it just kept coming to me. Give, 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 give. I'm a giving person. So guess what I started to do? I said, you know what? I'm going to do nonprofit. I'm going to go out and I'm going to help people. I'm going to help people get their education. I'm going to help people with food and clothing. And just the right thing to do was to, that was my, my thing. So I just went ahead and started doing a nonprofit. I said, but what about it can I can do that can help people? And by then, I had already lost 70, 74 pounds plus. Tryout number six. They were like, oh, no. You're overweight, you're overweight, you're overweight, you're overweight. And people, you know, get out, got to lose weight, got to lose weight. So that's what I did. I continued to lose weight, and then that was my calling, to help people lose weight, to help them become healthy. So that was my other triumph. So my last triumph that should be the, the top one was I got enough money to pay my house off in full. We paid our house off in full. We owe nothing on our house. Triumph number seven. Yes, Lord. So I'm saying all this to tell you there is a reason behind everything. God takes you back for a reason. You have to, you have to listen to the, the calling and you have to do it and just follow through. Be consistent. Praying is the key. Get your life in order, but God is going to get that for you. And my MS is still a problem. Please excuse my bird, but I'm actually going to be good with everything because I know God has my back. So before my bird goes completely apey, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. And I want to tell you, your girl has had her cup of tea today. Cheers. You guys have a triumph day and write your triumphal things down. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you have a great Thursday. Don't forget, go down below, share, comment, like, subscribe, and get that bell so you can get the ring-a-ding when I do my videos. So please excuse the noise in the background. I love you guys. Thank you so much for viewing today. Love you. Have a great Thursday. Happy day.